Hi, my name is Keith McComsey, and I'm the Director of Marketing and Customer Solutions for Bendix. Bendix had an opportunity to demonstrate for fleet customers at a customer event the impact of brake fade on the drum brake system while comparing that against air disc brake systems. Now, brake fade is a, an event that occurs when your drum brakes heat up to the point where your drum thermally expands away from your shoe friction to the point where it starts to provide less and less torque for the brake system, basically extending your stopping distance. We drove these vehicles side by side, one vehicle being all drum brakes on both the tractor and trailer compared against an all-wheel air disc brake system on both the tractor and trailer. And the customers were able to see the differences between the two systems. Now we talk a lot about the benefits of air disc brakes and shorter stopping distances, improvements in lower total cost of ownership, but we never really go into the detail of air disc brakes and how they virtually eliminate drum brake fade. So this series of videos spliced together at this event are going to depict the opportunity that the customers were able to witness the impact of drum brake fade as fade started to set in on the system and then how air disc brakes continue to provide the stopping distance benefits that they're known for. So we're set up here at the end of a three-quarter mile long drag strip where we'll be able to see the final 100 or so feet after the brakes are applied. Both vehicles would have a speed of approximately 60 miles an hour and would apply the brakes at the same location in a panic stop while we capture each of these stops in video. Now we'll do multiple runs where we'll see some cooling take place between runs, but ultimately heat will build up in the system which will create fade in the drum brake. Also, as you can see in this picture, there's a car placed outside the track that will be used as a reference point for both tractor and trailer combinations. Now we add this line here, which is approximately where we'll see uh, our cones show up where ADB, the ADB vehicle would stop. Now from there, there's going to be a number of green cones starting from this point that show uh, every 10 feet for reference. Now at this point in the second line is where the drum brake vehicle stops on its first stop of the day. This is approximately 20 feet past the air disc brake vehicle, and is, which as you can see is already making contact with the parked vehicle. Now here there's going to be two key areas I want you to focus on while we watch the video. This first area here called drum brake fade zone is the area where the drum brake will be a stopping. Watch now, the stopping distance continues to increase as the drum heats up. Now you will see some variation in some spots where the truck falls back, which can be associated with either cooling and or slight variations in precisely hitting the initial brake location at exactly the same point every time. Now the second area here called ADB is where the air disc brake vehicle will consistently stop over and over and over. And as you notice, it will always be parked. It will always be behind the parked car. As you can see, the drum vehicle brakes are starting to heat up and fading is starting to set in, providing longer and longer stopping distances. After a couple stops, now the whole tractor is starting to get past the car. But notice really how contained the ADB vehicle is at staying within that 10 foot zone, never coming in contact with our parked car. Eventually, you'll see the drum brake vehicle fades to the point where a complete 6x4 tractor and 53 foot trailer have collided with our parked car. So throughout this video, the drum brake stopping distance varied from 20 feet to 70 feet greater than the air disc brake stopped location where the air disc brake vehicle reliably stops behind the parked car and consistently stays within the 10-foot zone, virtually eliminating impact of fade. This displays that the drum brake vehicle stopping distance will increase as fade sets in. Now the reality behind this video is that this has the opportunity to occur in everyday driving, such as heavy stop and go traffic or mountain descents, that drivers really routinely have to deal with that impact of drum brake fade 
on an everyday basis. Fleets considering air disc brakes gain the benefits of virtually eliminating brake fade and enjoy the benefits of reduced stopping distances keeping the roadways safe.